Hey there YouTube, this is Minty Josh 19 and welcome back to my channel. So in this GTA Online military video, we are going to be talking about the new service carbine that came out with the last update, as well as I'm going to show you how I make my desert camouflage uniform. Let me go ahead and turn down the volume real quick on my TV. There we go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the uniform. Now for this, you're gonna need to go to a Los Sant or not Los Santos, a um, a clothing shop. This can be found if you're new to the game. This can be found using one of these icons that's in the shape of a shirt. It's black with a white outline. Uh, for me, the closest one currently is by the military base. So we're just gonna drop my Humvee from one of my previous videos over there and. We'll get started. Goodness, with this location is also near a ammunition, um, which is the gun shops. So that's always a plus side. Up, uh, rear end. Uh -huh. Out of the way. Okay, here we go. <coughs> Discount store. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the boots. Now for these, you can use... <coughs> Sorry about that. So for these, you can either use the heavy uniform boots, but since it's going to be desert camo, I wouldn't recommend those. Um, you could also use the desert tactical boots, but I don't like the way those fit. So I just use <coughs> I actually use these ones here, the tan walking boots. They're smaller than the tactical boots, but they're also a tighter fit it looks like. And now we're going to do the pants. So for these you're going to want to go to cargo pants. And then you're going to go up at the top of the thing you'll see the list like 11 through 49. Uh, you want to scroll down until you find... <coughs> number 24 out of 49. Which is the fall camo. Or fall cargo as it's called. It looks like a 1990s uh, US Army uniform from Desert Storm kind of. Uh, then we just go over here to tops. Now, you could use the service shirts, however, I'm going to be putting on like a body armor type vest. And I can't figure out how to make those work, so I'm going to use a gun running t-shirt. That's sleeveless. And it's number... Where is it? There it is. Number 17 out of 60 on the list. And then you will need to scroll all the way down to the bottom. There you'll find... Utility vests. You want to scroll all the way down past these random ones to these ones here. The fall plate carrier. This is number 41 out of 75 on the list. You want to use that one. That gets your body armor, your pants, your shirt, your boots. Now accessories, we're going to go with the gloves. <coughs> I so I'm sorry about the cough, I just got over COVID, so, but that was three weeks ago, I still know I had the cough, but I'm guessing it's because of that. We're going to fall tactical. Now we just go over to where the hats and the masks are. Go all the way down to you see combat helmets, and you're gonna want this one here, the fall advanced combat helmet. Looks like a modern day military helmet, kind of. It'll be number 14 out of 89 on the list. And then, oh, we did this wrong. You actually want to go back over to the accessories for the masks, I believe. 
Okay, actually, no, you don't. There's only one mask shop in the entire game, and it's all the way down at the beach. It's literally all the way down there. I'm not going that far, so. We're just gonna go to style in your interactive men <coughs> menu. This can, <coughs> this can be accessed by pressing the, uh, this button here. It's the little two box button on the, on the left hand side of controller. You press and hold it down, it brings up the interactive menu. We're gonna go to style, accessories, and mask. Now, it'll get rid of the helmet, but you're, when you go up to the mask shop, go to ski mask and find desert camo spec ski. And then you can go down and you can put on your fall advanced helmet. This will cover your face, your hair, and your neck. And there you have it. That is how I make my military my uniform. It came out kind of kind of decent. I like it. Matches the Humvee a little bit. Now, for the next part of this, we're going to be talking about the service carbine. Now, the service carbine is the newest weapon added to the game. It's a semi it's a fully automatic rifle that can be found in the, with the heavy rifle, the military rifle, and, and that little section, and the assault rifle, which is the AK-47. To get it, there is two options. I'm not sure if the first one is still available. Uh, I know the second one is. The first option to get it is you have to go around the entire map. You'll find little blue circles on the map. You look in those circles, you'll find cops looking over a crime. You steal the evidence, which is a piece of the rifle. That is the original, um, and the first way to get it, again, I'm not sure if it's still around. I've heard some of my friends say it is, but it's hard. For me, it was hard to find. I only found one piece, and you need five. But when I got it, all I did was walk into ammunition, any ammunition. Obviously, the guy behind the counter will greet you. Browse weapons. And you go to stick your bombs and you just scroll up to these ones here and it'll be the newest one here. As you can see I have the grip on the bottom of the barrel and along with the flashlight. For me the rounds are free. So I'm actually going to stock up on here. You can carry 900 and 9... 9,999 rounds, so pretty much almost 10,000 rounds of ammunition for it. You've got your default clip, your extended clip, which I don't like the extended clip. Uh, the flashlight, which is up front there. The suppressor, which I don't have. The grip. Black tint. Army tint, which is what I'm using. Green tint. Orange tint. The LSPD tint. Pink gold platinum so that's ha that's pretty much the easiest way to get it to buy the actual rifle is like three hundred thousand dollars for some reason i don't know why they're the guns are so expensive in gta but they are <coughs> while i'm here i'm also gonna arm it to the rest of my guns as well Now, you'll notice, I'll, I'll get into this part video, or in uh, I'll get into these guns in a different video, but these are all the Mark IIs. I'll show you how to get those in a later one. This makes a statement that you're not to be trifled with. Okay, there we go. I'm actually gonna get some body on while I'm here. I'm, I'm gonna stock up on every. I'm gonna stock up on every armor I can get. 
Which I'm all done. Those are pretty popular. <coughs> so yeah. That's how you get the military uniform along with the service carbine. Now service carbine, I forgot to tell you this, is based off the real life M16. I'm not sure if I mentioned that before. Um, which is highly used by the American Army, I believe. I'm not sure if it's used by any other military in the world, but I know it was used by the American Army since the 1950s or 60s, I want to say. So. But anyway. Yeah, that, that's how you get the new M16 service rifle in G10 line and create a military uniform. You can you can make any uniform like that using you know woodland camo, digital camo, agua camo. I'm usually out in the desert area of the map, so I like the desert camo the best. And I just scratched the paint job. It's nice. So anyway, hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to like and subscribe to my videos. And be sure to check out my other videos along with the prank video I did. I'm trying to get a camera so I can make more of those. So if you like that video. Thank you for liking it, but be patient while I eventually get a video camera. And so leave a comment below, and you all have a good one, and I will see you next time.